These five weapons killed the most in the U.S. Civil War. The Civil War was by far the most deadly war in American history. The bloody four-year conflict between the northern and southern states of the America would end up consuming the lives of an astounding 2% of the pre-war national population, 620,000 dead and a further 1.1 million wounded. The number of casualties is even more remarkable considering the most deadly weapons of the Industrial Revolution, the machine gun, the aircraft and the tank had it been invented yet. The Civil War had its share of deadly weapons, from handguns to field artillery. Here's a look at the top five. One, Springfield Model 1861 rifle. The standard infantry weapon of a largely infantry war, the Springfield 1861 was likely responsible for the lion's share of combat deaths. Roughly a million Springfields were built, arming the foot soldiers of both sides. The Springfield was a .58 caliber rifle with a 40-inch barrel. Because of the relatively inaccuracy of the weapon and the lack of marksmanship training for individual soldiers, it was usually used in massed fire tactics, which depended upon large numbers of soldiers firing simultaneously to saturate a target area. 2. Henry Repeating Rifle The assault weapon of its time, the Henry Repeating Rifle, was the fastest firing weapon an infantryman could carry. Unlike the Springfield 1861, which was limited to 2-4 to four shots per minute, the Henry could empty its magazine of 16 shots in less than a minute's time. The result was a single man with the firepower of an entire squad of musketmen. The Henry's deadly nature lay in its innovative new design. 44 caliber metallic cylinder, Henry incorporated a lever action loading system to lower the bullets into the breech and had a tubular magazine that ran parallel to the barrel that held 16 rounds. Henry rifles were also carried by So and Cheyenne warriors at the Battle of the Little Bighorn where they annihilated Colonel George Armstrong Custer's 7th Cavalry Regiment. The rifle design was later picked up by Winchester and evolved into its iconic lever-action rifle series, including the Model 1873, known as the gun that won the West. 3. Lamotte Pistol An unusual pistol design. The Lamotte was designed by John Alexander Lamotte of New Orleans. The pistol saw action with the Confederate Army and Navy, it was theoretically the most lethal handgun of the American Civil War. The Lamotte was a 9-cylinder, 42 caliber revolver. 9 cylinders meant it could hold 50% more rounds than a typical revolver. The gun was actually two guns at one because it had a second, larger, single-shot barrel capable of firing shotgun rounds. A selector switch on the side of the gun allowed the operator to switch back and forth between handgun and shotgun models. The Lamotte was unwieldy, with the two firing mechanisms making it unusually weighty for a handgun. The weight of the cylinder made it rear heavy, which likely helped aiming. 4. Model 1857 12-pounder Napoleon gun A mature design with designed roots in French artillery, hence the nickname, and it was considered safe and reliable. Its physical size, a good compromise between mobility and killing power. The Napoleon was used by both sides during the war. It could fire solid metal shot, explosive shells, and grape and canister rounds. The barrel was 66 inches long and had a bore diameter of some 4.5 inches, about the same as the main gun on an Abrams tank. The entire gun and two-wheel mount weighed 2,350 pounds. The model 1857 had a range of 1,619 yards. It could fire up to four shotgun-like canister shots per minute, making it deadly against massed infantry at short ranges. 5. Gatling Gun 
the predecessor of modern-day multi-barreled machine guns and cannon. The Gatling gun was invented in 1861 by Dr. Richard Gatling, a physician living in Indiana. Gatling allegedly created the gun under the naive assumption that making a single man, the Gatling gun operator, so lethal might cause wars to become obsolete. The Gatling gun was a 58 caliber, six-barreled gun that worked by turning a hand crank that rotated the barrels. The result was the deadliest weapon invented to date. The Gatling gun could fire 600 rounds a minute, the equivalent to 150 trained infantrymen. The basic rotating barrel principle is alive today in the modern Gatling gun, particularly the 20mm M61 Vulcan, seen in the Phalanx CIWS shipboard defense system and the 7.62mm M134 minigun.